what is up guys, Delboy here. So some huge news breaking in the heavyweight division and that is that Joseph Parker versus Huey Fury is off. It's not going to happen. Um, and that's a shame because it was a really good fight. It was a really intriguing clash of styles. I felt Joseph Parker was going to win it but I, I wasn't really picking him with any real confidence. You know, it, it was a fight between the boxer puncher and the boxer. Really good clash of styles, really intriguing. So it's a shame that it's off. Uh, fans in fans in New Zealand are going to be disappointed. Fans in the UK are going to be disappointed. A lot of people have been let down. I mean, where do we start, man? Team Fury. Their reputation right now couldn't be any lower. Um, well, it could be lower if if you had come out and say that these guys have been cheating, then it could be lower. But that will. Listen, man, right now it's looking bad for Team Fury. And you've got to ask yourself a question. Is that is this pullout related to the UCAD hearing that both Furies are are waiting on? Um, and by the way, the WBO president basically just said... Um, he's not said what the reason is, but what he said was, and I quote, As of today, it seems there will be no WBO World Heavyweight title fight in New Zealand. It seems the problem lies within Team Fury. So, so yeah, it's been it's been confirmed by the president himself. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Team Fury, their their reputation couldn't be any worse, and it could. But well, as well, it could get worse. But listen, it, it's looking bad for them, and their team is full of. It must be full of incompetent idiots. What is going on with Team Fury, man? These guys have let so many people down. And I'm surprised that there's so many fans still loyal to them. Because they've let so many people down. Some of their antics in boxing has been absolutely disgraceful. And quite frankly, I'm done with Team Fury. I'm done with them. I'm done. I don't think I'll be able to support these guys anymore. I mean, just just look at some of the antics. I mean, let's... let's obviously, the UCAD thing, which we all know about, for both Furies. Let's look at Huey. I mean, how many times did... Did uh, Peter Fury say that, oh, Huey's going to fight a top 15 ranked contender in his next fight? How many times has he said that and it's never happened over the last two, two and a half years? How many times has he said that? Because that's, he, he, he said that so many times and he's always fought a nobody in his next fight, you know? I mean, it's a joke. He, I mean, let's look at the guys who he could have fought. He said no to Dillian White. He didn't want to fight Dillian White. Dillian White said he'd fight Huey, but but Huey said no, I don't want that fight because we're friends, which is absolute nonsense. Um, he could have fought Deontay Wilder on two separate occasions, and before you say, well, well, that was short notice, that wasn't fair. Listen, you make a rod for your own back. Team Fury always say, oh, we're fighting men, we will fight anybody. Prove it, prove it. You could have fought Deontay Wilder in America. For a portion of a world heavyweight title, and you turned it down not once but twice. You could have fought Anthony uh, Anthony Joshua. Again, you turn that down. You're fighting men, but you're not fighting. How does that work? I mean, come on. You, you these guys criticize other fighters for doing their thing. You you they criticize and wish wish uh, guys would lose. It's just pure. Sp it's pure. Oh, they they seem more busy looking at on tw going on Twitter and saying, "Oh, this guy's going to lose. He's a hype job," or he, whatever. It's a joke. Team Fury are a joke. I mean, it, it you, it's honestly it's made me speechless. And before you say, "Oh, you're, you're just a hater. You're this. You're that. You're you're just being a hater of Team Fury." Blah blah blah. Listen, man. I was a Fury fan when he first turned over, when he was fighting on ITV4, when he was fighting guys like um, uh, Nascimento, and when he was on the come up, when he was fighting guys like uh, Chisora in the first fight, like Martin Rogan, like like Vinnie Madalone. I was watching him from from day one, and I was one of I was one of the few people who said he would beat David Price because back then, I mean. Fury's got all these fans now, but where were you back then? You were you were nowhere near. You were you were you weren't there because everyone everyone was saying Price is better than Fury. Price beats Fury. All you lot, all you lot were saying are Price is the next big thing. 
So listen, don't come here and say, oh, you're just a hater. Because I, I was always a Fury fan until until all this bullshit since he's um, lost his titles, since he's been on coke, since the whole UK thing has come up, since the ridiculousness on Twitter. I was always a Fury, I was always a fan of Fury. But listen, I'm not a I'm not a fanboy. I'm not gonna sit back and sort of just excuse everything a fighter does because I used to like him. Right now, listen, man, I'm, I'm done. I'm done supporting the Furies. I'm done with them. They 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 let people down. They let their fans down. And how they have so many loyal fans now is a is ridiculous, you know. And it goes to show in society, people love a fuck up. People love car crash TV. People love all that nonsense, you know. When you've got another guy doing it as a professional, in a, in a professional manner, you've got another guy, you know, you've got him sort of just trying his best to be a great fighter. Not ruffling feathers, but just trying to do it in the ring. And, and that guy gets criticised more than a guy who's on coke, maybe on PEDs, avoiding uh, other guys avoiding fights. But the guy who's, who's trying to do it the right way is being criticised. How does that work? Listen, man, people... It is what it is, man. Huey Fury versus Joseph Parker is off. Not surprised. Listen, man, I'm done with the Furies. I can't support them anymore. What do you guys think? Peace.